Hi everyone, so for this video here, I'm going to be going over 15-9, and I, it's a little bit of a long problem, so I didn't put it at the top there, but let's read this problem first before we get started. It says, initialize the function to what, in one line using the variable first name. So we're using this all in for one variable name, and this function should be called name fix. This will take the value George, which is all lowercase. Okay, so we're just gonna use these values that are given to us. So let's go over here and we will type var first name equals to name fix and we'll say George semicolon. Now, that's how you initialize the first one, the first um, line right there. Now we'll do the next one. It says initialize the second function to the variable person1. So the function is called person1. And sorry, this one, the second function to the variable person1. Okay, so this is the variable name, person1. And the function should be called sentence function. This will then take the value of the first name and also the number 25. So let us do that. So we're just doing another one, which is var person one is equal to sentence function. And now we're taking in the first name, which we actually have right here. The first name's up there. So we can just call it first name, uh, comma, and then just put the age, which is 25. So now we are just reusing the the values that are given to us so we don't have to type in George again and we're just passing the first name from there to over here into the next function. Now let's read the next uh, paragraph right here and it says below the variables just create just created write the function for sentence function which takes in the values first name and age then have it return a sentence saying my name is first name, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we're just going to set up the function for um, sentence function first. So let's do that. So remember when we set up that, we set up with function first and then sentence function. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to put first name and age because that's what it's asking us to do. And then do the curly brace brackets. And we want to return a sentence. And what we're returning is this. My name is plus first name plus and I am with the spaces in the right area plus age and then plus years old period. So that's how we should set up the first function because we're trying to get the first name and age to create this sentence that is actually defined right here in the problem as well. It tells us exactly what we need the output to be. And then next, initialize a second function that will be called name fix and takes in the first name. Then have it return the formatted in the proper way with the first letter being capitalized. So now this function, what its purpose is, is doing some kind of capitalization. So then before you use this name, before this name gets passed over here in the sentence function, we're actually formatting it properly. So let's do that. So let's do function name fix. And we'll do first name here. And then do the curly brace brackets. And then we will return. So in formatting, this is like a notation you just have to um, be aware of. And I believe it's in, um, it should be in the documentation as well in W3 schools, JavaScript, um, capitalize first letter of word or word, sorry. And let's see here, that's PHP. So here, 
JavaScript string to uppercase. Let's click on this. To uppercase. Okay, so it looks like it only makes everything uppercase. It should be, there should be somewhere here as well uh, to make the first letter. First letter of string. See, if you click around, like there are some examples online as well, but I'll just get to the point here as to how to do it. So what you have to do is use the first name that is given in here. First name. So this one, don't confuse this with this first name. So we could also, we'll just call this first so then we don't get it confused. So return first. And what you want to do is use these um, square brackets now and then put in zero because what it's essentially saying is take the first letter of the word, which is G first and then dot to uppercase like this and then plus first dot now we have to do substring one so let me explain what's happening here so what's happening is we're taking in that first the first name which is George in the name fix so it goes here and George is here so what it's saying here with the zero in the brackets it's saying take the first letter which is G and make it to uppercase don't forget these two uh, brackets it just has to be like that because it's a built-in function and now after we're done with the first letter we we just have the rest of the letters done we don't want the G again or also be G George right so we want to take whatever is after G. So you have to use the substring built-in function or method and you sub dot substring. So first dot substring and then in the brackets type in one because what that's essentially saying is in this the first position, which is E, take everything from E and afterwards and just place it there because all we need to really do is just format the first letter of the word. And now once it's formatted, you return this back to name fix. So this is now the fixed name. So you take that first name and we put it in the sentence function now. And now we have a properly um, formatted sentence that can be returned back to us. And what we can do now is we can do console.log person1 because we want that sentence to be displayed. And we'll just run node test.js. And see here, George has been uppercased and says, my name is George and I am 25 years old. So this is just a way of um, organizing all of your code. And it's actually a really great way of just formatting um, whatever you need to be formatted in terms of with the proper functions because then you can reuse those functions and just um, use them over and over again in case there's multiple names or multiple things that need to be uppercased. Of course it depends on uh, what parameters you give it um, but it's just something to keep in mind that this is another way of using functions. And also um, before I forget we need to actually format the documentation for these functions as well. So like we did before, you put the forward slash, two stars, enter. And as you can see, we got the parameters now here and whatever return. So let's add a description first. And we'll say um, creating the sentence. And then first name is the first name of the person. We want to describe who's it for, it's the person, and then age, the age in years, and returns the sentence containing the first and first name and age. So that will just properly describe what this function is actually doing. So if any other team members or new members come on, they'll know when they should use this function for instead of having to ask other people. And let's add that semicolon right there. And let's also do this for this other function. 
so two stars, forward slash and two stars. And as you can see, we have one parameter, so it's first. So what is first? The first name of the person. And what are we returning here? We are returning the, um, let's say, returns the first letter of the name as cap capitalized and then here description at description is um, to format the name with the first letter cap capitalized something like this so it describes exactly what is this function used for and whenever someone else wants to use it um, fixing the name it doesn't actually have to be just first, right? It could be last as well. So maybe a proper way to do this would actually be to label this as name. So if you change it, you have to change it here in the description as well. Name, name. So you see here, um, if the name fix just gives in the value of name. So what happens is if we get maybe a last name later and stuff, we can still use this because it's just the default value of name and still going to make the la the first letter of the last name uppercase and we can reuse this function for both the first and last name now. So this is just one way of thinking about um, how you're going to go about using or documenting all of this information but also how you can use functions in multiple ways.